Good day, wildlife enthusiasts. Imagine shrinking down to the size of a bee. You could fly into a beehive. Wouldn't that be amazing? It's like a whole different world in there. Let's explore, but be careful not to get stung. Now, let's take a moment to think about what it would be like to be a bee. Picture yourself with tiny wings, buzzing through the air, and landing on vibrant flowers to collect nectar. You'd be part of a bustling community, working together with thousands of other bees to keep the hive thriving. Each bee has a specific role, from the queen bee who lays eggs, to the worker bees who gather food and maintain the hive, to the drones whose main job is to mate with the queen. As you enter the beehive, you'd be greeted by a symphony of buzzing sounds. The hive is a marvel of natural engineering with hexagonal cells made of beeswax. These cells serve multiple purposes. They are used to store honey, pollen, and to house the developing larvae. The temperature inside the hive is carefully regulated by the bees, who fan their wings to cool it down or cluster together to generate warmth. Imagine the smell of honey and beeswax filling the air. The hive is a treasure trove of sensory experiences. You'd see bees communicating through a series of dances known as the waggle dance, which they use to convey information about the location of food sources. It's a complex and fascinating form of communication that scientists are still studying to fully understand. But life in the hive isn't just about work. Bees also have to defend their home from intruders. They have a sophisticated defense system, and if the hive is threatened, the bees will swarm to protect it. This is why it's important to be cautious and respectful when observing a beehive in the wild. So, as we embark on this journey into the world of bees, remember to appreciate the incredible complexity and beauty of their lives. These tiny creatures play a crucial role in our ecosystem, pollinating plants and producing honey that we enjoy. Let's dive deeper into their world and discover the wonders of the beehive together. Ready? Let's go! The first thing you'd notice is the honeycomb. It's made of wax. The wax feels sticky. The honeycomb is made of many little rooms called cells. They look like tiny hexagons all stuck together. The most important bee is the queen bee. She's much bigger than the other bees. Her job is to lay eggs. That's how the beehive gets more bees. Most of the bees you see are worker bees. They are all female. Worker bees have lots of jobs. They collect nectar and pollen from flowers. They clean the hive and take care of the baby bees. Worker bees are the backbone of the hive, performing a multitude of tasks that ensure the survival and efficiency of their colony. From the moment they emerge from their cells, they embark on a life of relentless activity. Initially, young worker bees take on the role of nurse bees, tending to the larvae by feeding them a nutritious substance called royal jelly. This jelly is crucial for the development of the larvae into healthy adult bees. As they age, their responsibilities shift. They become house bees, tasked with cleaning and maintaining the hive. This includes removing debris and dead bees, ensuring the hive remains a sterile environment. They also produce beeswax from special glands on their abdomen, which they use to construct and repair the honeycomb structure. This honeycomb is essential for storing honey and pollen, as well as for housing the developing brood. One of the most fascinating aspects of worker bees is their foraging behavior. When they reach about three weeks old, they transition to foragers, venturing out of the hive to collect nectar, pollen, water, and propolis. Nectar is gathered from flowers and is later converted into honey through a process of regurgitation and evaporation. Pollen, on the other hand, is collected in special pollen baskets on their hind legs and brought back to the hive as a protein source for the colony. Worker bees communicate the location of food sources through a unique dance language. The waggle dance conveys information about the direction and distance to flowers rich in nectar and pollen. This sophisticated form of communication ensures that the foraging efforts of the colony are efficient and effective. In addition to these tasks, worker bees also play a crucial role in regulating the temperature of the hive. By fanning their wings, they can cool the hive during hot weather or generate heat during colder periods. 
This temperature regulation is vital for the survival of the brood and the overall health of the colony. Worker bees are truly remarkable creatures, embodying the essence of teamwork and dedication. Their tireless efforts not only sustain their hive, but also contribute to the pollination of countless plants, making them indispensable to our ecosystem. The Boys Club, also known as the Drones. Drones are male bees. Their only job is to mate with the queen bee. They don't have stingers and they don't work as hard as the worker bees. Drones are fascinating creatures within the bee community. Unlike the industrious worker bees, drones have a very specific and singular purpose in the hive. Their primary role is to ensure the continuation of the hive by mating with the queen bee. This task is crucial for the survival and expansion of the bee colony. Drones are easily distinguishable from worker bees and the queen bee. They are generally larger in size and have bigger eyes, which help them locate the queen during mating flights. These flights are quite a spectacle, as drones will gather in specific areas known as drone congregation areas, waiting for a queen to pass by. When a queen bee flies through, the drones will chase her, and the fastest and strongest will get the chance to mate. Interestingly, drones do not possess stingers. This means they cannot defend the hive from threats, unlike worker bees who are equipped with stingers and are responsible for the hive's defense. The lack of a stinger also means that drones are not involved in foraging for food or performing other tasks that worker bees do. Their sole focus is on reproduction. The life of a drone is relatively short. After mating, the drone dies almost immediately, as the act of mating is fatal for them. Those that do not get the chance to mate will eventually be expelled from the hive by the worker bees as winter approaches. This is because drones consume resources without contributing to the hive's survival during the colder months. Despite their seemingly limited role, drones are essential for the genetic diversity and health of bee colonies. By mating with queens from different hives, they help to spread genetic material, which can lead to stronger and more resilient bee populations. In summary, while drones may not have the same workload as worker bees, their role is no less important. They are a vital part of the bee community, ensuring the continuation and genetic diversity of their species. The boys club, or drones, may have a singular focus, but it is one that is crucial for the survival of the hive. Sweet, sweet honey. Worker bees use the nectar they collect to make honey. Honey is their food. It's yummy for humans, too. Waggle dance. Bees can't talk, but they can communicate. They do a special dance called the waggle dance. It tells other bees where to find the best flowers. Beehive's nature's apartment complex. A beehive is like a busy apartment complex. Thousands of bees live together. Everyone has a job to do. They work together to keep the hive running smoothly. Why we need bees. Bees are crucial for our environment. They help pollinate plants. That means they help plants make fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Without bees, we wouldn't have enough food to eat. Be kind to bees. Bees are important pollinators, but they are in danger. We need to protect them. We can plant flowers that bees like. We shouldn't use harmful pesticides. Buzz off! That's all for our beehive adventure. Remember to be kind to bees. They are amazing creatures that help us all. Crikey, what a wild ride. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel of World Adventure Explorers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your story about a bee sting in the comments.